Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and today I'm doing some sculptures and paper art with uh, some vintage ephemera and paper weights and glass. Some of my favorite things to do. I think I've been doing a lot of that with glass and paper this year. So I wanted to share with you uh, one that I have finished and I have this picture and I have a book about spiders. So I put a spider web paper and uh, a black widow because I thought, well, you know, maybe she's a black widow. I always love to have a story behind what I make. And I just used a little Mod Podge and put that behind there. And today I got a glass bottle at a yard sale for a quarter. And I loved the thickness of the glass. There's some crackles and air bubbles in there. So I went into my stash of poison labels and vintage pharmacy labels, and I'm gonna decide what I want to go on there. I think I'm gonna put this French label on because I wanna have this in my uh, dining room and I've got a green theme going on, plus it's my favorite color. But I am gonna get back into my stack of paper just to see what else I have before I put it on. I selected this round label for the green bottle and I went into the area that I'm gonna display it asked my daughter for her opinion if we thought too much of the bottle was covered up. Then we thought a little bit about cutting it into a semicircle, and I think that we didn't have a problem with the whole label going on. And then I am gonna do the green there. They are, I think, the self-adhesive labels, but I'm just gonna use a little Mod Podge to adhere them. I do think I'm gonna trim that off so it's centered. And I think I'm gonna put this one on just a little crooked, like it was an actual bottle and you know, someone was just in a hurry, you know, as they were filling the prescription to get it on. I think that'll make it look a little bit more authentic. Fifty cents yard sailing this morning it turned into some Halloween decorations, and then you can definitely put flowers, feathers, scissors in these to add to your display. I'm going to turn my attention now to this pair of glasses that I picked up and um, I have oval and kind of an octagon-ish shape and then I selected these because they were round and unlike the other ones. So I have this little lady that I added um, some Victorian black beads to and a little bit of net like a fascinator and she fits good right here. And the nice thing is that these um, lenses are a little bit domed, so those beads really fit perfectly. Um, the back of that cabinet card is touching the metal frame, and I don't even believe the beads are touching the glass in front. It just worked out nice, so I'll just put a bead of glue on the metal rim. So now I need to figure out what I wanna put on this side. And I could leave it empty, um, but I think I'd like to do something there. When I put the lady in, um, I always try and create a story and I thought that she looked like a vampire. If you've ever watched uh, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, I love that movie and uh, she kind of reminded me of somebody who would be in a movie like that. So looking at the two lenses of the glasses uh, also reminded me of a locket that she would open up and there could be pictures on both sides. So I thought, well, if that's the lady, then who would be the other picture in there, the person she's in love with? So I put the bat and then on the inside to finish it off, I put a little bit of handwriting. So now that it's dry, I'm going to use a nail file because I've tried to trim the extra paper as much as possible, but when it's round and then the nose piece gets in the way, it's really hard. So a little nail file will just take that paper off perfectly.
I displayed the glasses on top of the secretary on this little tray. I'm working on this paperweight now. I'm gonna make it uh, a vertical orientation. And I just decided to make it just like a mishmash of things. Like they were just kind of tossed down on the paper or caught in the spider web. So the spider web is from a book and then these are all individual things. I am tracing this even though that is a little bit too big. It'd more be in there, but I'm just trying to cut it down and try and um, get as much to fit as possible. I trimmed it a little bit. I put the skull on there with some Mod Podge and then I stuck it on the back and just used my nail to crease it down to see where I could uh, needed to trim it more. Now I could glue the edges, but I don't wanna do that. I actually think I wanna do a little bit of red or a little bit of gold paint so you just see a line of that. And now this will really help me see what's gonna get cut off, get most of the image, but I do like a little bit of it uh, trimmed and cropped. I finished gluing the pieces and I don't really want to cut this label so I am going to see if I can wrap it up the side. So I'm just going to cover it with Mod Podge and stick it on the paperweight and I used a little bit of Windex to make sure it was as clean as possible. No fingerprints. To finish these pieces off you could glue um, a piece of paper that's decorative on the back. I'm actually gonna try some acrylic paint because this is the first time I'm doing these. And if uh, that doesn't work or I don't like the way that looks, then I'll shake my paint and maybe I'll try paper. And the reason why I don't know if that will work or not is if um, the paper absorbs the moisture for any reason, if anything happens, but I think that will just finish off the back. And I really do like to make my pieces look finished on all sides. Actually, that could be a really nice background um, to add just a little collage piece and a signature. I got some water-based gold paint and I am painting the inside edge. It is going on pretty transparent on the glass, so it's definitely going to take at least two coats. But uh, if I stick it in front of the fan, it will dry quickly. While I'm waiting for that first coat to dry, I'm just doing some details on the back of this one. And uh, I do have to clean up a little bit of paint that was left before I even started. And it originally had gold paint, so you're actually not seeing the gold stripes that I just painted. That's the gold that was there, and then the black that I painted. And so I'm just continuing that look on the inside. The paperweights are nice because they tuck into any display easily. I put this one in here because she has a round composition near the tins. I've put a few things out on the desk for Halloween, but haven't spent too much time arranging. I did hang a piece of art and I decided that I was going to put the paperweight up here. On the back, I added a pharmacy label and a little fly along with my signature and the date. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.